Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. We have got another grocery haul and meal plan for you guys. Hey guys, welcome back. We have went to Ruler Foods and we have went to Walmart. Let's see how I did if I stayed under my, or in my $100 range. If you missed last week's grocery haul, I'll have it linked down below. But I said that I wanted, for the month of February, I said that I wanted to stay within 100, around 100. I'm not gonna beat myself up, but I wanted to try to do that for myself. I know I can, but with the prices going up and everything, it is hard just going into the store and staying within your budget. Even if you have a list. <laughs> Y'all know I normally go with the list, but there's always extra things that I grab. And so for me, I wanted to challenge myself this month to stay within $100 and that's include, it does include stocking up um, a little bit on my prepper pantry. Y'all know I stock on my prepper pantry every single week, um, anywhere from five to 10 or more dollars. But for the month of February, I'm trying to just do five to $10. Um, Y'all will see later in the week, y'all will see a full stock up haul for the prepper pantry. I um, have been going and just grabbing things. So I will be filming that later in the week and y'all will see that it, I don't know if it will be Wednesday or if it will be Friday, but y'all just stay tuned for that. So at Ruler Foods, I spent $23 and 31 cents. And then at Walmart, I did have to get a couple non-food items. So if you take off the non-food items that I got, it was $71.49. So for the total between both stores for just groceries, that's $94.80. I did it again. <laughs> I did good. Of course, I am showing you all everything that I got, but just for groceries alone, $94.80. So let me get you turned around and I will share what we got. Here is everything out on the table. The only thing that we didn't get was water. The water at Kroger itself is $1.99 a pack. And so we're waiting, um, we're hoping to be able to go to Bowling Green and pick up the water because I've been wanting to stock up on water soon. And for that price, it's really good because around here it's anywhere from three to $5 for a 24 pack. Um, <laughs> so y'all know me, I shop the sales, shop the deals. So if I can get it for $1.99 for a 24 pack, I will definitely go and get it. So that's the only thing y'all don't see because y'all know I normally get water every single week, but I wanted to go and stock up on it. So at Ruler, Ruler Foods, I just went and got two things. They had ground beef. So I went ahead and picked up two packs of those. Y'all know I just like to get some every week until they really go on sale, then we stock up. This just help, help, this helps us stay ahead and not break the budget because um, you know one or two is not gonna be a huge difference. Um, and then the butter was on sale for $1.97 um, a pack. So I went ahead and picked up four and then we'll just put those right in the freezer until we need them. And then at Walmart, I'll go ahead and start with my non-food items that I said. I normally don't count the non-food items in with our groceries, but I always share y'all with y'all everything that I get when we go to Walmart. So Luke needed a three-hole punch, so I picked him up this. This is the only one they have, this big mamma jamma of a three-hole punch. I also got him some post-it notes, these little like page thingies, so he can like write some like a note on it and then know what page to go to little tabs. I'm walking all around it instead of reading what's what it says. And then um, Rulers has been out of the my heartburn medicine. They've been out for two weeks and now I need some. So I went ahead and picked it up at Walmart and it was $6.98 for 14 tablets. And at Rulers, you can get 14 tablets for $2.98. So, rulers, you need to get it together, and let's get that back in stock because it's way cheaper there. <laughs> it's even cheaper there than it is at Sam's Club. Uh, yeah, that's crazy. And then for the food, we got some more eggs. I picked up some diced pimentos, two cans of artichoke hearts, got a little can of black olives, 
Winston likes taking these in his lunch, so I always try to get a little can. Got some black eyed peas. Um, Megan over at Megan's Kitchen just made some cowboy caviar, and it has been so long since I've had that. Probably Winston's birthday last May, probably. That's probably been how long it's been. But I absolutely love that stuff. I'll have her recipe of that video linked down below for you guys if you have not seen that. But it is, ugh, so she got me craving it. So I have everything here except for the black eyed peas. So I picked those up. Got some sour cream. Picked up some bologna. All they had was name brand cream cheese. So I had to get that. I needed that this week. So I had to get it. <laughs> um, I paid name I paid for the name brand because this is all that we could find. We've been having a hard time finding the um, crowns, the golden crowns. Y'all know we like those so much better for casseroles and everything. So I did pay a little extra to get the name brand of those. And then I needed some like regular hash browns. They did not have any. Their frozen hash brown section was like, our frozen potato section was very slim. But I did get the southern style, which is like the little diced, and they will be fine. I'm not going to make a huge deal about it. Also got some hamburger buns. I picked up some little potatoes. These sounded good to roast this week, so I got the red and the honey golden. Got Winston two apples. Picked up two bags of the chopped frozen spinach. Got some cheese, Italian style, and I also got a big bag of the mozzarella. We need quite a bit of that those two this week, so I went ahead and picked up two big bags. Got some restaurant style tortilla chips. Also picked up, um, this technically should go over here with my stock up. Um, so my stock up for this week was just kind of random. I wanted to fill in with stuff that um, I had needed to replenish. So for replenish, I needed to get a chocolate fudge icing I needed to replenish a tomato juice, and then I needed to replenish a um, pack of crackers. Whenever I pull it from our prepper pantry, I write it down and make sure I try to buy it within that next week or two. So that way we're rotating and always restocking what I use. So those are the three things I needed to replenish. And then new for the prepper pantry, I picked up some of this Bisquick mix. I wanted the smaller packs of it, but they didn't have any, so I just picked up the smallest box that they had. I personally like to keep smaller items of stuff. It just depends on, I like to have both, honestly. I like to have like big size boxes and I also like to have smaller packages of things because for us, and like if I went and pulled one of the little packs of Bisquick, I would use that whole thing at that one time instead of me having to pull this one, use a little bit and then have to store it in my, my pantry. So if you have smaller packages of things, even like canned goods or, you know, box mixes, it can come in handy when you can just use the whole thing instead of having to, you know, having to store it for the next time. You know what I'm saying? Um, so certain items I like to have smaller packages of because that's just how we use it. And I would rather have that than to have to open this and then it'd be a few more weeks or months before I use it again. Um, and then I got some more dry milk just to have. For my other milk options, I always also keep evaporated milk in the um, in my prepper pantry as well. And to make evaporated milk as regular milk, it's just half evaporated milk and half water. So you can just thin it out in it for a recipe. Um, we got some goldfish. Winston asked for some goldfish. And then I got um, almond milk and regular milk and then picked up some more Gatorade for Luke. So that's everything. Let me get this put away and I will share the meal plan next. Here is what we got going on for the meal plan. I honestly am just not, I'm not feeling it. You ever have those weeks where just nothing sounds good? <laughs> that's one of those weeks for me. So I do have some inspiration for you guys, but honestly, next week's what's for dinner video may not be any of this but we will see we have got burgers luke did ask for burgers so we will for sure have burgers um luke asked for burgers and then i found a cheesy potato crock pot recipe that i want to try y'all know i love me a crock pot recipe so we're gonna give that a try with the burgers that night and then ritz um it's ritz ranch cheddar chicken i don't can't even remember the name of it um it has been a few months honestly since we've had that 
and um, that is one of the things that sounded good to me. <laughs> and then we rolled over the homemade pizza from last week. We weren't able to get to that. And uh, Grover was like, um, why did we not have the homemade pizza? So clearly he wants that. Um, and then I always do a crock pot recipe on Wednesdays. I had mentioned that in my vlog, the, my last vlog that I had uploaded on Friday. I mentioned that Grover is a preacher. And so on Wednesday nights, he goes to church. So I always try to do a crock pot recipe on Wednesdays, not Wednesday nights. So that way I can keep it warm for him in the crock pot because he eats whenever he gets home. And then cowboy beans. Normally we eat this as a side dish. So I might put something with it or we might just eat it by itself. I really don't know. Like I said, nothing really sounds good. I didn't, didn't even finish out Friday or Saturday. So we'll just kind of see any recipes that I have. I'll have linked down below for you guys. But it's just one of those weeks where nothing really sounds good. But don't forget that these um, menu uh, meal planner sheets are available in my Etsy shop. That link's always in the description box below. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this week's grocery haul and meal plan. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.